100 plus Verkata employees upvoted this question. Why are the men who sexually harassed their female colleagues able to keep their jobs? Verkata management refused to answer. These managers kept their jobs. Only after an IPVM investigation, a vice investigation, and the Verge's report seven months later, Verkata's CEO did respond. As one former Verkata contractor told IPVM, it was one of the most toxic, unprofessional work environments I was part of. I do corroborate there was kind of a frat culture. I did witness guys commenting on what women were wearing, like yoga pants or a certain top, saying things like that at work or while they were drinking. It was really inappropriate. And another Verkata ex-employee told IPVM, there's a certain crew from Danville. They can do whatever they want. The company will turn a blind eye, basically. Verkata management is well aware of the Danville crew, with their chairman, Hans Robertson, saying, We had a bunch of people who were local, like grew up in the area, and they just like knew a lot of other salespeople. So they, I think we have 20 from like Danville. Or not 20, but like 10, I mean a lot. This was part of Verkata's chairman recipe of hiring sales athletes. They like copied the EMC. Uh, which, what does that really mean? Um, I mean, EMC was famous for like hiring half the Northeastern football team. With the goal to make the, the culture really fun for sales. Vice found a Slack channel called hashtag raw Verkata dogs, where Verkata sales managers made sexually explicit jokes about female coworkers, such as face match, find me a squirt. Many months later, when Verkata investigated, Verkata's CEO said that the Slack channel had been deleted. We attempted to recover it, but were unable to, per The Verge's report. Some employees had their stock options reduced. No employee was fired. And Verkata Verkata ignored the 100-plus upvoted question. When Verkata's CEO did address this seven months later, he attributed it to recent media attention. Then, three individuals were fired. Verkata's CEO claimed that this would demonstrate that Verkata does not and will never tolerate this kind of behavior. However, Verkata did tolerate this, only reversing after media attention.